y'all welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by today i am filming a day in the life video of a shih tzu if you guys know this is mace he's my eight year old shih tzu before we get started make sure you subscribe to my channel i upload videos three times a week on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 4. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram. There's usually a guest appearance from Mace on my Instagram here and there. We love to start our morning off with morning cuddles. I'll give him a hug, ask how he slept before we head downstairs. He's pretty much into a routine. Um, I've had him since he was seven weeks old and we do the same thing every day. We always head outside in the backyard and let him relieve himself from the night before. Since he is getting a bit older, there are times where I have to wake up in the middle of the night to take him outside to potty, but he's pretty good about letting me know when he needs to go out. This is just one of his favorite babies he left in the floor, so I make sure I clean that up. And we head over to the kitchen where he snatches his toothbrush and goes to his favorite spot where he'll sit down and eat it. I only feed Mace once a day, so the food that is in his bowl is left from the night before. Um, he drinks a lot of water. Um, he usually drinks an entire bowl of water in the morning time, and then throughout the day, he'll go and sip water. I like to leave his water bowl pretty full just to give him total access to water because I do work from home, so whenever he needs to potty, it's not a huge deal for us to go outside. After he's eaten his snack and used the bathroom, he'll get in his bed and he'll take a morning nap while I get on my computer and start to do my work. On this particular day, I needed to wake Mace up because he had a 12 o'clock appointment to go to the groomers to get a haircut, a deep conditioning, his nails trimmed, a nice deep shampoo. Uh, so yeah, I just woke him up, brought him upstairs. I like to sit down and cuddle with him on the floor. We'll play for a little bit. And then I'll sit and explain to him that he's going to get a haircut. I expect him to be nice and to behave while he's at the groomers and that I'm going to miss him and I'll see him later. You guys will notice that when I'm talking to Mace, he'll turn his head in lots of different directions and I just feel like he's trying to comprehend exactly what I'm telling him. He does understand several words. Like right now I'm saying, hey, are you ready to go? And you guys can see he's running down the stairs full speed because he knows that that means we're going to the car and we're leaving the house. To encourage him to be nice and to be good, I'm giving him a Scooby snack. Um, this is just like a graham cracker that I buy for Darian and I. Mace loves them because it's a little sweet. So to kind of encourage him to behave in that uh, he's going to be fine away from me for a couple hours, I'll give him a Scooby snack before we actually leave the house. <laughs> Mace has pretty bad separation anxiety. Anytime that he feels that I'm leaving him, he will panic. Um, he's actually prescribed a medication from his veterinarian that I usually don't give him unless we're out of town. He loves riding through our neighborhood with the window cracked and just hanging out the window and enjoying the scene. Um, so yeah, this is by far one of his favorite things to do. Mace 
Mace is a Shizu. He's a 100% purebred Shizu and he's hyper or hypoallergenic, which means um, he doesn't shed. He has hair. I get his hair cut maybe every three months or so. Um, generally, I like to keep him pretty short in the warmer months just to make sure that he's cool. He actually knows when we're coming to PetSmart and he hates it. It's not his favorite place and he always looks as if he's never going to see me again. Um, it usually takes about five hours for him to get the works um, and I like to go back to PetSmart and kind of hang around and wait for him to be ready. I'll look at the different animals they have. I may do a little bit of shopping and most times I'll also see what they have on sale and grab an extra bag of food for him. My vet did say it's not a good idea to buy huge bags of food just because you want the food to remain fresh. So I always get the small five pound bags. His food is on sale today for $14.99, but usually it's $20 and I buy a bag of food every other week. It's always such a joyous occasion when we're reunited. Um, I like to get Mace cut with the number seven all over. I get his ears cut down to the leather and I get his tail um, cut short but fluffy. And he looks so cute and so handsome. He's so excited to be back in the car and riding back through our neighborhood. I didn't let the window down this time because it was raining and he just had a bath and so I wanted him to still keep that fresh smell. His favorite thing to do is to wait at the door until Darian gets home. He's always so excited. Um, Darian is his playing buddy. They play, they wrestle, they run around, they fight. Um, so he's always so, so happy to see him come home. That's one thing I do love about having a dog. No matter what type of day you have, no matter what kind of issues you have, whenever you come back home or whenever you're reunited with your dog, they love you regardless. Um, Darian usually likes to win him over and give him a snack. Uh, he'll make him do tricks or just anything crazy. And Mace will literally do anything for a bite to eat. Even though I just picked him up from the groomers, I like to use my own personal doggy spray for him. Um, so whenever he comes home, I like to spray him down and give him a nice soft brush just to make sure the um, product is evenly distributed. He likes to be brushed even though he looks annoyed. He doesn't mind it at all. One of our favorite things to do as a family is take evening walks. We walk through our entire neighborhood every single day. Mace is usually always leading the way. Darian is usually playing with a basketball. Um, but yeah, we just in enjoy time together. We talk, we walk, we enjoy nature. Every now and then, Mace will try to run. Um, he and Mace, or, or Darian and Mace will race each other. <laughs> it's always a hot mess. Once we get back home, it's time to feed him. Like I said, I only feed him once a day, so he's pretty good about saving his food. I do have a Brita pitcher that is Mace's pitcher, um, so only he uses it. That water comes out of our sink, but it has a filter on it. Um, usually Darren and I will drink bottled water or we'll drink water right out of our um, refrigerator's filter. On this day, I had an extra chicken tender that I ordered for him, so I decided to kind of tear it up and put it in his food. And as you guys can see, he was super duper happy about it. He loves chicken from Chick-fil-A and Zaxby's. I'm pretty good about feeding him at the same time that we eat, but on this day, we all just finished dinner and I decided to show you guys some of his toys. He loves babies. He calls all of his toys babies. His goal is to always just tear them open and take the stuffing out. Um, but yeah, these are his Christmas antlers. And as you guys can see, he's pretty pissed that I put them on him. <laughs> um, but yeah, Mace has so much stuff. I usually pick up toys for him from TJ Maxx. 
Home Goods, PetSmart, Ross, wherever I see something that I like. In regards to his bones, all of his bones are Nyla bones. He's been using and playing with Nyla bones since he was a baby and I swear by them. He has so many leashes. That leash actually has a snack container on it. <laughs> there's a harness, there's a seat belt for the car. You think Mace was a baby because he has so much stuff. After a long day, we like to cuddle up on the couch. We might watch a little bit of TV. I'll give him a nice doggy massage. He loves when I massage his neck and his tummy and his little paws. He definitely has me wrapped around his finger and I wouldn't have it any other way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, peace.